Hey guys, how's it going? So we are now in our 17th Xamarin Android tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to switch a few things up and we're going to start looking at, at doing web request. Okay. So in this tutorial, we are not going to do an actual web request. We are going to attach a, an image to our image view, which that's what we're going to send up to the server. Okay. So, um, because with the web request, I definitely want to to have you know some string types, but I also want to have an image type that we take as a byte array and we send it up to the server. Okay, so because that can get a little tricky, so I do definitely want to make sure that we cover that. However, in this tutorial, we're going to focus on just getting the image into memory first. Okay, and the way that's going to be done is just like so. So first, we're going to have a uh, add contact okay we're having we're, we're gonna do the little contact theme here okay so this is a dialogue fragment and if you guys aren't familiar with this that are just tuning in we have covered this in the previous tutorials so just go ahead and look where uh, in the previous tutorials where, where we covered dialogue fragments if you're not too sure what's going on here okay so um, here we just would just enter in a number and then that will get added to our contact list. Okay. So here we, we already know all this. We already know how it's done. And, but clicking on the, on the image view is what we're going to go over and notice that it pulls up, it'll pull up your phone's gallery. Okay. So all your phone's pictures. Okay. And you, I only have one picture in this emulator. And, um, once you click on it though, it will then take it and it'll put it inside of the image view here. Okay. So this is the image that we will then take and then send a web request to our server that will then store the byte array. Okay. So that's what we're, what we're going to be working on is bringing this up, how to bring up the gallery in Android. And then once you select it, how to efficiently store it in memory. And the reason why I say efficiently is because you could just take the whole thing and just put it in the image view. And, Right now, it's not going to be very significant because this this icon is not very big in resolution. However, if you take a picture, say with like your high def camera, then you're going to load all of that into memory, and you can have 10, 11 megabytes of memory when all you need is maybe like a 150 by 150 pixel uh, image because all you're going to do is put it in a thumbnail. So you want to scale it down first, and then put it in because if you have you know 20, 30 of these. Your application is going to become a big memory hog really fast. Okay, so we're going to go over that too as well, just how to scale down an image to to practice good, efficient memory usage. Okay, so let's get started on this, guys. Let me go ahead and close this application. And okay, so this project right here, what you see is is in the in the start folder, the project start. You'll see Xamarin 17 start. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get basically everything that's running and you're going to get everything except when you click on the image view, nothing's going to happen. Okay. So we're actually going to implement that. So anything new we're going to, we're going to focus on. Okay. So you see, we have our drawables, our plus sign, our, our little default picture, our search button or icon. Okay. So we have an animation for the dialogue, which we've gone over before and we have our dialogue uh, design file, our main and our, and our contact. And that's where this image view is. Okay. So right here. So here's our template for our row, you know, just some standard stuff. I just want to make sure we go over our theme for the action bar mainly. And then we have our contact class that represents a single contact. Okay. Just name number and a image that is stored as a byte array. Okay. And our list adapter, which we've gone over before, just a list adapter for the list view and our contact dialog, which is the the dialog fragment that pulls up then takes the information at the name, the name and the number. And then finally our main activity, which does majority of the work. Okay. So that's just a quick one one of, of what we have. And this is what you're going to get when you download that file. Okay. So from here, what we want to do is we want to add a click event. Okay. And let me go ahead and run this just to make sure that we are on the same page. And then this is where we're starting off at here. Okay. So now this is the build that you're going to get from the Xamarin 17 start. Okay. Notice when you click this, this still works. And then here you can type in, you know, whatever you want, create the contact. 
However, when you click on the image view, nothing happens because there's no click event registered. And that's mainly what we're going to be working on in this tutorial, okay? So let's get started with this. All right. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add a click event to our image view, okay? And then we grab a reference. Remember, if we grab a reference to the image inside of the actual list adapter, okay? Because the, the, the image views we grab a reference to in here, okay, which is right here. Okay, so this is where we actually grab a reference by using the resource ID image pick. Okay, so we grab it from here. Now we have a reference of it. Now we have it in memory. Okay, and this will just check to see basically if it's not null. And if it is, then it'll just then it if it's not, then the the picture will be set. However, they're all going to be null because there's not going to be the the byte array right here isn't going to be anything because we're not we're not doing anything with that yet. Okay. So until we actually put it into memory, it's going to be node by default, okay? So now what we want to do is to actually add the click event. What we want to do is pretty simple, pretty standard by now, just pick.click, and then we'll add a method that will be called when this picture is clicked, okay? So here we will say uh, picture has been clicked, okay? So now what you would think we'd want to do is, you know, now we would call up the, the activity that pulls up your gallery, right? Well, the only problem with that is the fact that we're not, now we're in the list adapter, okay? And the list adapter, which, which is inherited from base adapter, can't call other activities, okay? Because usually, you know, you would do this dot start activity or something like that, you know, like you can in, in the main file. So over here on the main activity, which inherits from an activity, because it does, we can we can do something like, oops, because it does, we can do something like this dot start activity and, you know, call our activity. But we can't do that there because because it's we, we it's not an activity that we're in the, the we're in the adapter. But here's where where we're listening on the event. So so what do we do? And this is a uh, there's a many if we did many, many different methods. Uh, I'm sorry to go about that we can we can do however the one that comes to mind is using some sort of event okay like a delegate and that's where um i like to use a lot of delegates for this stuff where you know you don't want to pass in anything you don't want to do anything and like you know we, we could pass in you know the activity and then from there we can call it call the method that we want and start the activity from there and that gets kind of messy and it kind of like you know tangled so what I like to do is just keep it clean and, and use an event, okay? And that's what we're gonna do. And that's some good, this is some good C-sharp practice, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and do that now, okay? So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to make an action, okay? And for those of you not familiar with actions, and all an action is, is a, a basically a generic delegate that can take up to 16 parameters, okay? And notice that 16's right here. So two, three, four, five, it can literally take up to 16 parameters, okay, of any type. So that's what's really cool about that. And basically a little history is .NET actually is written a lot in custom delegates because action wasn't around until later in .NET. So they weren't able to use it because they, they got, you know, the guys at Microsoft must have got tired of making custom events, custom events, and generics weren't introduced until later in .NET. And once they were, they were able to actually add in in a generic delegate that can handle a lot of their, a lot of their delegate calling from uh from within the framework. So, but it's just a little history. Actually, a lot of it's not written in using action. It's actually written a lot with their own custom delegates. But because of it, they were like, hey, we need to make something that's a little more versatile. And this is what they did. Okay, so that's really helpful. So we're gonna make an action. Okay. And we're only going to take one parameter. So that's why we have image field. But if you wanted to take more, we can do int, we can do string, you know, all the way up to 16. But this one's only going to take an image view, okay? And we're going to, we'll, we'll just call it action. And what we'll do is we'll just do new action, okay? And what we want to do here is, Actually, you know what? You don't, we don't even need to instantiate it because what we're going to do is we're going to give it an action, okay? 
And that's all, all we need to do there is we want to give it a function that takes an image view. Okay, so that makes sense, right? So we'll make it a private void and we'll call it pick selected, okay? And it has to take an image view, okay? Because if it doesn't, then it's gonna throw an error and it won't even compile, okay? So we'll call it selected pick for the local variable that the pick selected will take in. Okay, and up here, we'll just do pick selected. All right. So we could do something like, you know, action. And if this looks more familiar, we can do something like equals, you know, over here, um, pick selected, just like that. And that'll be fine. We don't have to do it on the initialization. And then if we wanted to add another thing, all we gotta do is just do, you know, something else that if we had pick selected too, you know, that takes another image you would be able to do that as well. So we can add and subscribe more, more methods to this, just like we do in any other event, okay? Because it's all it is. It's basically just a generic delegate, okay? So let's just go back and let's, uh, take this away all right so now we have our action that whenever the action is invoked it will call pick selected over here okay so that's perfect right so then we can just throw this action inside of our adapter right and then the constructor only takes three parameters right now so we need to go back to our list adapter so let's go to the definition of that go to the constructor and in the constructor, what we're going to do is we're going to add another parameter, okay? And just like this, it's going to take an action that takes an image view. We'll call it pick selected. And then we'll make a global variable. Image view. And I'll put M, M action pick selected. Okay? And then what we'll do over here pick selected equals pick selected okay so that's all good there everything's happy all right so now basically whenever we invoke this this will get called okay we haven't wrote anything in here but this will get called okay so let's go ahead and do that down here right because this gets clicked so then when it's clicked, we want to actually start up the activity, the gallery activity, okay? So that's where, here is where we'll actually invoke it. And that's exactly what the keyword that we need, we need invoke, okay? And it does take an image view like we've specified, okay? So all that we need to do here is cast it because sender is our image view, okay? So all we need to do is just cast it, image view and sender you could have also done you know image view or and then cast it there and then send it the image view the local variable but i just do it all in one line i'm just being lazy but either way so now this is perfect this is now when this is clicked this will get invoked and when this is invoked it calls anything that is subscribed to it any method that is subscribed to it well right now there's only one method subscribed to it and that's this one right here our pick selected so this gets called and now look at we're in the we're in the activity our main activity okay so now in an activity we can call another activity all right so that's our little that's a little workaround for that okay and that happens a lot so that's this is kind of the method that I use I use an action or I might just use an event or something like something like that but yeah, really helpful that it will that you can do that here in C sharp okay so I love using that and um, it's just a great way to way to get away with things, okay? So with this now, what we wanna do is we want to come up here and we're gonna want to add another global variable to our main activity. And this will just keep track of what picture or what image view just got selected, okay? And that's all that's doing, okay? So, that, cause, so now the other methods can reference this and know that this is the current picture that's selected, okay? Because whenever another picture is selected, this one will get reinitialized, so the new picture that's selected, okay? So we're gonna start an intent, and I know we haven't really gone over intents, but it's pretty pretty procedural with, with Android, and it's just the same thing with Xamarin. But 
basically to call another activity, which is essentially like another screen, we will we use intents, okay? So just keep that in mind. And then here we're gonna set the type, okay? So we wanna let it know that we want to call a special event or activity, I'm sorry. And, then, and what we wanna call is our gallery, okay? So what we'll do here is set action and we'll do intent dot action get content. Okay, so this is basically saying that this intent is, is meant to get content, okay? Start activity for result. So it's basically saying, okay, we're gonna get a result from this activity that's gonna be called. So when it's done, expect a result from it, okay? So it wants to to take a, it wants to take an event, so as this first parameter. So we do intent.createChooser, okay? We give it the intent that we've created, and we'll just give it a title. Select a photo. And then finally the request code, which we could just leave at zero, okay? So this, these, these little few lines of code is how you call the gallery in Android, okay? And this is pretty standard, nothing special here. This is just how you do it, okay? So the next thing we wanna do is we want to now override a method that gets called when the result is finished, when the activity is done and then there's a, and then there's a result for it, okay? So here, what we'll do is we first wanna to check to see if the result code equals Result dot okay. So if everything worked out, you know that the app didn't crash or you know everything worked out fine, then okay, it'll return okay, and then we can come into here. Okay, and here is where we want to use the selected pick, which we've registered over here. We know that this right now is the current pick. Okay, and then we want to do set image bitmap. All right, so we want to set the image bitmap, and then what we want to do is we want to use a bitmap factory. And we want to decode the stream. Decode stream. All right. And here we'll want to make our stream. So we'll just call it stream. And the way we get that is we want to use a content resolver. Okay and we want to open input stream and it takes a URI, okay, which is the data. So we do data dot data. This is the image URI that we've selected. Okay, so that works out perfectly. All right, so that's from the parameter right here from the intent. That was the intent that was called. Now it passes back the data and in here we get the stream and we feed it that stream Okay, and it is happy, all right? So that's all we need to do in this tutorial right now, but we'll do, we'll work on, you know, using scaling and all that, but this won't be efficient. It won't be efficient at all if it's high resolution, but it will get the job done as of right now, okay? So let's go into here, and we want to go into our properties, and we want to set a permission, okay? Because if some, I know when I tried it on my device, it wouldn't let me use it. It would say, it, it said like I don't have the right permission for it, okay? So over here, it's called read external storage. Make sure you check that on, okay? Because when I tried it on my device, it wouldn't let me. If when I tried it on the emulator, it was fine, but for some reason on my device, it wouldn't let me. And it made sense, but it didn't make sense why it didn't ask me on the emulator. So make sure that's checked if you're getting a read external not, uh, permissions not basically acceptable make sure you have that clicked, okay? So that's good. And then one last thing before we run, we want to come back to our list adapter and we want to first deregister this before we register it, okay? So, and that what that's doing is you basically, because this is called many, many times, so you might get a pick that you've already registered and you might subscribe to it again so if you do that, then it's gonna call this twice because it's to subscribe to this method twice, and then you'll have some weird stuff happening, okay? So this is just a quick way just to basically make sure 
that you've only only subscribed to it one time at any given time okay so you unregister and even if you're not registered to it yet that's not gonna get that's that won't throw out an error okay so you unregister re-register or subscribe and that makes sure that you're only subscribed one time okay all right so let's go ahead and run this this bad boy and we'll see what we got All right. All right, so we want to create our contact, which we'll just put anything in here right now. All right. Okay, cool, so our gallery pulls up. This is another activity. This is the activity that we pulled up. Okay. Click here. And there it is, okay? So it loads into our image view as we expect, okay? So like I said before, it's not gonna be efficient if you have some high resolution pictures in your gallery on your device. However, we're in the next tutorial, we're going to, to learn how to efficiently load in image images. And then shortly after that, we're gonna send that image and a few things other um, also on into our server, okay? So we'll get into a little PHP and, and SQL Server, and all that good stuff, okay? So that is coming shortly, and just stay on the lookout. It should be here in the next couple of tutorials. All right, thanks guys for watching.